Of course, the right vlog camera is really important, but never underestimate what the vlog camera is mounted on. What up, APM Kitty here with the Tola Visuals. Vloggers are more than likely gonna be setting up cameras by themselves, so finding a really good mini tripod is something you should definitely think about. Whether you're shooting vlogs with a phone, a GoPro, mirrorless, or DSLR, I have four great options here. Depending on your payload and your shoot style, some will be more beneficial than others. First, we have the Manfrotto Pixie Tripod. I know a lot of you fancy this one. This has been my go-to vlog tripod for the past year now because it can hold my heavier vlog setups. But be careful with heavier lenses that are too front heavy because this might tip over. I love this limited edition art design. I just had to get it. But they have various colors to suit your personal style. This tripod is beneficial for holding and walking, for setting it down for low angles. Most of the time I set it down on a tabletop and just talk into the camera that way. It's also really easy and small to pack in any bag. With the newer Pixie tripods, you also have the option to put it in portrait mode. However, with this old one, you can't. But it's really simple to change the ball head positioning just with this one button. And it'll hold your camera pretty secure too. Pretty stiff. Next up, we have this Polar Pro, a tripler. This is something I was looking for because this center column extends all the way up. Now this is super great to get that added height because sometimes you don't have a platform or a tabletop to set this on and you just need that little extra extra and it hides away in the tripod itself. You could also change the ball head to get portrait mode for you IGTV fam out there. Well, bam. However, I feel like it's not sturdy enough to hold my mirrorless. So this would work a lot better with Sony RX100 vlog setups, GoPros, or phones. All right, then we got the Patek Fly flexible tripod. This one's probably one of the most fun up here. This is your cheaper, less bulkier Gorilla Pod style. If you like wrapping your camera around things or doing really quick and easy time lapses, this one is for you. Oh yeah. You get super creative with this. Tim Burton would love this tripod. It's super flexible and can retain its position in whatever shape you wanna put it in. And I just really love this silicone grip because whatever surface you put it on, it won't slip. Not only that, it's really comfortable to hold. So if you just wanna walk around with it, it's nice. And it can hold heavier vlog setups as well. Bam, squish, squish. Last but not least is this Moza power tripod. This one I bring with me on my travel adventures because it is also a battery pack. It's a freaking awesome idea. I'm sure we're gonna see a lot more tripods in the future carry this design. I just got my Sony a7R 3 and I only have one Z battery. So I was filming at VidCon all day and I was running a bit low. So all I had to do was plug this sucker in into the camera and it helped me finish shooting for the rest of the day. So it's crazy how I went from using three Sony, the old Sony batteries a day to just one Z battery and this tripod. That's crazy. It's got a battery light indicator here, a ball leveler, and you could also change the ball head with this lock here. Even though I'm not that much of a fan of this, but it holds on pretty tight. Some mini tripods might also come with a bundle, so double check beforehand, but I'm gonna recommend some accessories as well. Accessorize phone holder, GoPro adapter that you could actually screw in with a quarter 20 screw, quick release plates for the bigger camera setups so you don't have to unscrew and screw every time. And if you do a lot of motion time lapse, this handy little rotation timer is perfect. I hope your cameras will be happy with their new little feetsies, whichever one you find that works best for you. So which tripod did you like the most? Maybe you have another option that I haven't even talked about. So put those in the comments down below. If you're interested in looking for a standard but still travel-friendly tripod size, I just did a review on the Manfrotto Bee-Free Carbon Fiber. You can check that out here. Find me on IG because I post there on the daily. You do you, fam, and I'll see you when I see you. Happy vlogging! Mm, done. What the camera goes on as well. That was all a mess. Ever it surfaces, because some, some, some wanted to keep this more chill. And it was also leg day today, so you already know.
Yo, do yo, yo, it's all those gimbal workouts. Ding, 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 ding. I dig it. I digs it.